Okay, because we need to get started. Okay. Are you starting to start it? Okay. Okay, very good. We're rolling. We're rolling. Okay. This is um so I'll do it. I'll hand, I'll control the camera because I can do it easier. This is a, a snap machine. It's an automatic snap setting machine. Um, and um, it, it, it's a fully automatic ele electric powered snap setting machine. It's made from a company called Ho Hung Ming, which is a Taiwanese company. And uh, this is an older model from them. They're, uh, they're based in Taiwan and they have a, um, an office in um, uh, Los Angeles, actually officially, I think they're in Gardena, California. Uh, they, they're, they, ha they're they're, they, they can be, uh, they have a website. Um, I've given um, uh, DK um, uh, information, contact information for the company. Um, I've contacted them to get uh, um, uh, with photos of this machine with, with um, a request for um, users' manuals and any detailed information when it was built, what model number it is. And they have no record of it. They said this is a very old machine and they just, they don't have uh, a record of when it was made or any uh, owner's manuals. So um, they really are, they're really not able to be of any assistance. And um, so I don't know when this machine was made and I have no idea about guessing. Um, you know, I mean, it could be 50s, 60s, 70s, but um, I bought these machines from a, a third party, a company called Melody Machine Company in um, Vernon, California. And so they, they, they sell like uh, manufacturing equipment um, to, uh, you know, like a lot of sewing machines and they have these machines. I've, I've used, had these uh, for almost, I think about 30 years and they've worked really well. Uh, I've never had to repair them. All of the, uh, because of the, it's such an old machine, it's very, it's simple. It's not complex with a lot of electronic components and uh, things like that. It's like, I compare it to a, an, an old early Volkswagen bug. It, it's one of those, um, it's like an early car that you can repair yourself because it's so simple and it's not as complex as cars today. So, uh, and it's also like all of the, metal in here, all of the parts are just really heavy, heavily made. Um, and the, you know, nothing's ever broke uh, on me. And I doubt anything will break when you have them. And if a part needs to be replaced, you could probably just uh, have a machinist bring, bring it to a machinist and they could do it. It's very doubtful that that's gonna be necessary. But this machine, um, there's two machines. There's a one. It's this sets um, a, a, a what's called a 20 line ring snap. And um, let me just grab. It's a 20 line ring snap. It's a very common snap. Um, and there's there is a female snap and a male snap. So this machine does the male snap. Or no, this machine sets the female snap, and the machine over there sets the male snap. So these are a pair of machines. You want to keep them together. You don't want to ever separate or sell. We'll sell you one or give one away to some. You want to have, keep them together as a pair. The machines have a protective housing that goes around the outside, and this is what it looks like. It has this lid. And uh, later in this video, we're going to put attach the housing to the to the machine and mount it on with screws. But it basically sits on like this, 
and it just keeps it protects people, the user from you know anybody touching, getting their hands in the in the machine. This uh, you know this little lid lifts off, and then also part of the housing is a um, this piece which covers. Uh, I'll show, turn it around later. This part down here is a belt. It's belt driven by a motor. Okay. Now, uh, let me just zoom in and, and this and let you look at it closely. Let me just talk about oiling the machine. There are little holes here, and they have a little bit of red paint inside them. There's one here, one here. There's one right here. You can tell you can see it. There's one right up here. So I'm going to grab my. So there's one right here. There's one here. You can see one right here. Um, there's one here, one here. And then there's some down in here. Can this come off? Can you take the camera off? Uh, okay, so I'm just going to unscrew the camera really quick. You know, um, yeah, let me just do this really fast. Let's see if I can get. Okay. There they are. There's the, see they're a little red. And then there's these little guys here. These lift up. And you put oil in here. And you put oil in here. And that's about it. They're very, they're, they are easy to find because they're in red. So that just keeps the machine oiled. Um, I'm see, uh, and um, I'm just going to oil the machine. How often do you want to oil the machine? You want to oil this machine, you know, just depending on how much you use it. Um, if you're using them heavily, like every day for three or four hours, maybe once a day. Um, I I probably oil them once a month. Um, and I, you know, I I would use them about once a week for three hours a week. So um, this is this is just standard sewing machine oil. I'm going to move the camera. And I'm just going to put a little drop of oil here, one here, one here, one here, right on the red spots. Um, there's a little hole here. I don't know exactly what that hole is for, but I just I always put a little bit of oil on that, anyways, because um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm gonna step around here. Let's see if I can. Um, putting some oil here, just a drop or two is enough. And then this little guy here, this little. A little bit of oil there. And, you know, I also just put a little plot of a little dog of oil in areas where I see there's a little um, you know, like wheels uh, spinning. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm going to put a little drop of oil like here. It's a joint. So, okay. So that's oiling the machine. And um, I want to talk about this part here. This part right here. This is the throat of the machine. And there are 
I need to put on my glasses. There are, um, there is a screw here and here. Okay. Yeah, right here, and there's one right here. And by loosening these screws, it can, I'll, I'll just do it right now, really, a little bit. I'm just using a, uh, a wrench here, and I am um, what that you know, does, and then this one, little... um, it makes this piece here go up and down. It raises, it controls the, um, this, this throat here, it makes can make it go up and down. So it control, but you've got to keep both of them tight uh, when you're done adjusting. What it does is it adjusts the, um, th this, it makes this go part go up and down. And that controls, that's if, if you're using a really thick leather, a thick material, it brings the, um, I forget which way, can, which uh, is up is for thicker leather or down is for thicker leather. But and it's easy. It's an easy thing to just play with and experiment with. It's, it, so you just, it, and it's easy to figure out when you just can loosen these and you go, okay, let's raise this up for thicker leather and see how it works. And you go, oh, that's not working. Bring it down. So thicker, it just, it's if you're using a thick leather or a real thin leather, um, it gives you that, that control. It controls how much this is going to come down, thrust is going to come down on the bottom. So if we, I think if we raise this up, um, I don't, like I said, I'm, I don't remember exactly, but that, that's how you control it. So you just loosen these two and you can bring this up or down and then tighten them both back up so it, it stays in place. So that's that. This is a locator light. So you can, it shoots out a little beam of light so you can um, aim it right at the, uh, the part right here. So this is the locator light here. And it, it, uh, you can aim a beam of light onto the uh, area that you want to um, put the whole the uh, snap through. So if you've got a piece of leather or material and you have a, a little hole marked and you, you just move that into the locator light. Um, honestly, if you've got a, you're in a room with a lot of light, you, you probably don't need to, to have the, use the locator light, but it's there if you need it. And the locator light is operated by, there's a um, little switch right here. That turns it on and off. And then I'm gonna turn the machine this way. So here's another view of the, the locator light switch. And then this is the power green the machine is unplugged now but i press down for green turns it on and red turns it off and um i'm going to send dk i have a lot of detailed pictures of of the machine with the lit covers on it with the with the uh the yeah the covers on and without so they're available so he has everything he should need for that and um this is, I'm going to turn the machine back this way. This is here. Okay. This part here is, these little things are called um, hoppers. And this is what the snaps go into. So this part takes what's called the cap. So it's the, uh, and there's, there's some already loaded into the, into the machine now. So this is the cap. And then this is the socket. So you just pour what you need into this, and they they stay in these little. Show one up each. Yeah. Okay. So we can see down in there. See. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to get the right. There they are. 
you can see the snaps and there they just sit in this in this chamber here and then here there's like one in there now but they just sit in there so you got to fill these hoppers up with the snaps and then what happens is these this part here Let me go over to the side. Maybe it's. Well, I have to, let me put the thing back on the. This guy. Okay. This here is called the raceway. So the snaps run down. The snaps run down this raceway. And into this area here. Um, which I will adjust, the, and then there's. So let me get the uh, take the camera off one more time. Okay, so here is the raceway, and you can see the snaps right in here. Here, you can see the snaps right in here. And they run down into this area here. And then they are pushed through to the front of the machine here. And these are these little claws that hold. They're spring loaded and they hold the snap in place. And up here, there's little um, buttons, so you can press this and it opens. Oh, yeah, it to to clear out the snaps. So, um, let me put the camera back on because I need both hands for this next part. And both of these machines. It's the same same deal for both of these machines. So when you um, what we're going to do is okay. There's also um, a little. I got to take this off again. There's a little lever right here. Um, here it is. See this little thing? This will, what this part does here is it, um, when you put it down, it just, it, here it is. That little, The lever controls this thing, so when it's up like this, it holds the snaps and stops them from going into the lower part of the machine. It just blocks it. So that's what. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to clear out the. Um, I'm going to empty the snaps out of this one, this channel here, this hopper. There's a little, um, here it is, on this side, it's right here. This is a little door that opens. Well, first we're going to do this. There's a little knob, this little knob, um, you can put a screwdriver here. And it releases, it allows the hopper to, the, uh, the raceway to come out. So I'm going to take these snaps. I'm just going to hold the raceway here. You can see it, the snaps are still in there, but they just come right out. This is the back of the raceway. The way to take care of these raceways is to take like a pipe cleaner. Um, like a nylon pipe cleaner on a metal one and just run it through here and it just cleans out any 
any debris. I would not, don't, you don't need to put any oil in there. I've never used spray silicone, but that might work just to keep it nice and clean and smooth. Um, so I will get the, this guy off here. So I'm not getting a, there's not a lot of light, but there's a little area here. And then this just comes right up and then you can just, yeah, you can bring, shine the light. So this thing area right here, this just sits right in here. Yes. And then this comes up like this. So I'll do it one more time. And then I screw the little knob and it holds it in place. So that's how to take the, the raceway on and off. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna empty the hopper so you can see how to empty the, this, the hopper here. And there's a little door right here. But first, I'm going to take this off because I, in order to empty the hopper, I got to have the sucker off. So let me just take this out. No, actually, I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm mostly taking this off now because it's going to um, give me access to this door. So I'm going to put the camera back on the little doohickey on the stand. I'm going to rotate this so we can see better. OK, this is what we're looking at right here. So I am going to take a little container, and I'm going to hold it right under here. And then there's this little lever here that I'm just going to move. And there's a little plug here. This thing right here just lifts out. And I'm just going to put it in here. And now the snaps that are in the hopper, if I turn this handle, I'm just going to turn this handle, and they start to pour out. So that clears out the hopper. And um, I just turn, spin it around freely. To, if I hear any little clink, chink, clink, 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 I know there's some snaps still in there. I don't hear any. So now the hopper is cleared out, and the snaps are in here. And here's the little plug. I'm going to put this here. So now to before I put more snaps in there, I've got to put the plug back on. Just it just goes right, fits right in the a little hole for it. And then this little latch just fits right over and snaps in place. So the next thing I want to do is I want to put the raceway back in. And now I'm going to take the snaps and just pour them in, into the hopper. And close the door. And when I, what's going to happen now is Um, the snaps is that when I turn this, the snaps will just start feeding out of the hopper and fill up the raceway. So I just kind of get them in there. Okay. And the same, same thing is with this. But on, on this, you want to take this little latch here and put it down. And now I'm going to loosen the 
the little knot holds the waist weight. Here, there's a few little snaps that are kind of blocking me from lifting this out. So I can just take a screwdriver and um, I'm going to turn this machine around so we can see better. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so there's some, there's some, um, I gotta step it out. There are some snaps here that are preventing me from lifting that. So it's really easy. I just push them out of the way. I just lift them out of the way with the screwdriver. And as soon as I remove the screwdriver, they're going to drop down. So I have my hand there to catch them. And um, I'm going to just put them in the little box. And then I can pull this raceway out like this. And because this little, because I've got this little thing set down, it, the snaps aren't just freely falling, aren't just falling out. There they are. But watch, I'm going to put this right here and carefully. And so now when I lift this thing up, they're going to, all the snaps are just going to start. There they go, falling out. So again, here's, here's the raceway, clean it out with a pipe cleaner. Uh, nylon pipe cleaner, not metal, because we don't want to scratch the metal inside there. Okay. So now I'm going to turn the machine again. And here's the little, the little um, plug. And here's a little um, lever. So I'm going to just lift the lever out of the way. Um, right now, there's not any snaps in there. So I'm just going to pour these in. So we'll pretend it's full. And I put the, the um, little box down here to catch them. And I'm going to pull the uh, plug out. Hang on. Yeah, thank you. It's almost out. There we go. So you can see the, um, you'll see the snaps just, I just kind of got to turn that around a little bit. Now they're all out. And I just put the plug back in. There we go. And now you can um, put them. Fill the raceway up. Okay, so these are sockets. So these will go on this side. Here, that's a cap. It'll go in here. And then just 
So let's see. Let's um, before we uh, before I start, uh, I got to put the raceway back on. So. I'm just sliding this right in here. And bring this. Oh, actually, this one is a slight bit different. This one, this one I got to go like this. Got to come in this way at a, just at a different angle because of, and then. So I'm gonna, So I got to just get. And it comes in like this, and I tighten it. And where's my screwdriver? On the other side of the machine. Oh, and then I gotta come in this way and give it a little, just a little tightening up. And now I'm ready to turn the knob here. And. Okay, there they go. The snaps are starting to fill up in the raceway. Okay, so that's good. So that's how to um, change the snaps. If you want to use black snaps or different or brass snaps or a different color, that's how you empty the hoppers and replace the snaps. So we've talked about oiling the machine, replacing snaps. We've talked about the locator light. And um, I will talk about this lever, which is a kind of a manual way of advancing the snaps. But we'll do that when we go to um, um, using the machine. So I'm going to turn off the camera, and I'm going to put on the cover on this. Because um, I don't think that's something anybody's going to really want to be doing on there. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just put the cover on then with, with the camera going. Um, all right. I'm not sure what kind of screws these are. Okay. Um, you have the L, L wrenches, are you? What? Your L wrenches. Yeah, right? yeah, good thing. I am just trying to remember if this goes on first. I bet it not. I'm going to think that would be, uh, I think this is going to go on first. And right, let's take these out. So let's snap in here.
So these we only took off for transport. You don't normally have to remove those, right? Yeah, no, usually no one's going to have to remove these. They'll, they'll, they'll be on. There's no reason why anybody should remove them. Um, I'm just trying to remember, make sure I'm not doing this right here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Can I hold it for you? Um, yeah. Yeah. This thing should come with me. This thing is supposed to be a little bit higher. If this one is it could be for this the one other goes on the other side. That's what it is. What the one. problem is. The other uh, there one is that one goes on that machine. So I'll get you the other one? Okay. Okay, excellent. So before you put that one on, mm -hmm. the, um, that doesn't go on yet. Okay. Not yet. I'll show you why in a second. This second, now this has a little bit of some little dents in it. From this is easy to remove just by with taking a rubber mallet that you can smooth that out. So what happens is. Do you have another screw? Thank you. Can you hold it for me? There we go. I feel it. I almost feel it going in. There, I almost heard you click. Can you push the panel a little bit? Yeah, it's, it's going in. Okay. I'm going to take the Allen wrenches. I feel like this might be a little big, but I'll give it a shot. Nope, this is the one. And let's just close the door in there and see if, see that little knob mm -hmm. clicks onto that? Good. That just means we're we're all lined yeah. up. This one is slightly smaller. Like this. No. This one, so a little bit. Oh, it could be the same one. Do you think it's smaller? Yeah, and there we go. You're yeah. on it. Okay, so mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to really give these a little. This hood here, I have only taken this off one time. And that was because that was when I, I took them off because I wanted to clean the machines. So that was the only time in the 30 years that I ever took these off. There's really no reason uh, that you guys will have to ever take them off. Um, I also took them off to 
because I, I will explain something about the other one in a minute. Okay. Is this one of the sheet? Another machine or something like that? Okay. All right, so now it's all mounted on this thing, just this on and off like that. This is the door to the belt. Um, and this, this little, uh -huh. this is a little, there's a little, A little nut here. That holds this. This, there's this little knob right here that I just loosen and then I can access the belt if I need to. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. I don't want to push this all the way. There's a little, um, a little guy here. There we go. That might be We're going to do that. The only time you want to lift this sucker off like this is when you need to get into the machine here to put oil in here. That's, that's when you will be doing that. Now we're going to uh, get this, this guy put on. Um, a little bit to get to that little screw. Thank you. I'll put the screw in for you. Okay, you do this screw. And I'm gonna get one of the others. You got it? One second. Excellent. And then there's a screw over here on this side.
Yeah, I got this in there a little bit. I think it's in there. I think that just the screw is a little bit long for the, um, this is it. This is the baby we want. Take this out. going to work. Okay. So now there's this guy here and then there's this here. Um, and this So this keeps this guy safe from fingers and the wrench. But if you need to lift this up to get to access the um, throat to adjust it, you can do that. So the last thing is I'm going to get the screws off the other machine. We don't have those? No. I'm missing? Yes. So it's just it's a simple butterfly nut. OK. We should try and replace screw. those. And then I'm going to get... Did we lose them now or were they missing before? They've been missing for a while. Okay. Uh oh, let's go to a hardware store and look for those. Yeah. These 
also, um, there's only one set for to share with the machine. So this, it's just going to screw in here. This little bracket is is what holds the um, centering gauge on. And then this. comes up like this. And this is a this is a centering gauge. If you're and I'll show you how it works in a moment. So this, this one is um, just needs a few little nuts like these guys here. Um, I I think these are going to go for the other machine. They might. Let me just look at something real quick. Okay, let's see if we can get these on here. I actually think this takes a bigger size one. What's a different uh, bolt? Yeah, it's a different bolt. 
Este. What is this? The problem with that is that it's going to be that one is going to be too long because if it's you don't want it to come up above this. Okay. But it's an easy thing to replace. I haven't um, honestly. I've worked with this machine the way it is right now for years. It's been okay. Oh, with just one bolt there. Yes. Okay. But it's an easy thing to to buy the hardware for and. So this guy comes up here like this, and this locks it in place. And this one come up like this also. And there's little, little screws here to move these plates forward and back to, to adjust for the leather. So now I'm going to plug the machine on, plug the machine in. And down here, this is what's going to activate this. When you press down on this, it releases the brake, and it causes the, um, we're going to watch here. I just put my leather right here, and it puts in the snap. And what happens is each time it puts in the snap, see these hoppers rotate. Well, this one didn't rotate that much, but there it goes. What it does is it just keeps feeding the snaps through into the area here and where they stack. So that's it. You just like load the hopper up with the snaps. I've put your, get your um, centering gauge on. Snap away. And here's what they look like. So, um, that's basically it. And then you want to, you can, we've got our, let me turn this. Yep, we got the, the little light on. Kind of lightning to just sort of direct it. There. It's about right. Um, this is fairly medium thin leather, so the snaps just automatically pierce through the leather. If you're using thicker leather, then you might want to pre punch some holes, and that's where the um, and the, the uh, locator light will help with that. And then just turn it off after use. And that's how this one works. Perfect. So and the other one is identical in many yeah, ways? Almost every way. The only difference between this one and this one here and these doors are going both this way. On here, the, the uh, hopper doors go this way. So the little, the little, again, it's got the hoppers. We've got the um, little compartment here that holds the holds the snaps. I'm going to take the cord off. It's got these. It's they're hard. It's hard to see, but the little levers here. That uh, there you go. We can see that uh, stop the snaps from just running out. Red dots for uh, where the oil goes. The little um, nuts here that control the throat depth for thicker and thin leather. Um, this machine, um, I took the, um, okay, here's what I want to explain about this machine. This machine here, this is a new cover that I had made 
um, I don't know, about six months ago and put on because the one that was on here before was the original and it just got severely banged up during this moves. year. It's just replacing this one. Exactly. Yeah. It's just a replacement for this one. Um, so that's all that is. Um, but uh, down when I took the machine off, this is the um, part here that controls the light switch. And I, I had them, uh, this got banged up too. And we, I had them remove dents from this. So this it needs to be mounted back on here and wired up to this. I accidentally, just with that, I forgot to put this on when I connected the light. I connected the light to the main power and it, it, um, it made the light bulb burn out. So these actually should not be connected. The, the machine still operates with them on, but it just needs to be rewired. These little wires go to the um, light and this big wire goes to the, um, power supply. the power supply. And um, I have photographs that I'm going to email to BK of exactly what the wiring is. Because I took when I was, before I was took it apart, I took fo photos of it. <clears throat> So that can be re reassembled. Okay. Um, but it's a pretty, that's a pretty simple um, electrical thing that uh, anybody with basic electrical knowledge could, 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 could do. Um, I just some troubleshooting notes. If, if sometimes snaps get stuck in different parts, and that's because sometimes there's, when you get snaps, you can get like, if you buy a quantity of them, maybe one of the snaps is malformed. Um, I've, um, when I buy the snaps, I buy them in a bag and the bag is stapled and I open, open them up and sometimes a staple falls into the bag and that accidentally gets in here and it just kind of gets caught in there. So it's just, it's a, when, when something's not working, I just kind of empty the hopper, take off the raceway, clean it out. And then I usually find Sometimes a snap will get stuck in this area, and I just like take a wire brush and go in there and poke around and clean it. Okay. Sometimes I need to make the um, these long pliers and just go Move in there with, and just slide whatever's caught in there stuck, and then it runs great. Okay. Um, some sometimes uh, you know, so it's easy to troubleshoot. Yeah, you don't want to force things or scratch it. That's the key. Right. Right. Don't force things. Don't scratch. Scratch it. Um, and the light bulb should be easy to find. It probably a specialty place that sells unusual bulbs. Will have some the right kind of stuff. Will can replace it. Um, and I want to show one other thing about this machine, which is on both of them. So this lever right here. What happens is if you need, you can just pull this and it automatically advances things through. The reason this is flying out like this, there's no leather in there. Yeah. There's no, yeah, there's no leather there for it to go through. It, it, um, oh, but it would push it up also. It would come from both sides. Basically, the manual, it's the same feeding, movement. It's feeding everything. It's the it's same feeding. movement that the machine does by hand. Exactly. So, um, so that's, I think that's about the, all there is with this presentation. I want to just say, when you put the snaps in into this machine, you want to make sure you're putting the sockets in here. And you don't want to mix them up. You don't want to mix them up because then they, they won't go feed through right. And you just think about it. Like what snap needs to go down here at the bottom, what nose on top? You might want to label which side goes where. I think that's a good idea. We can take sticky notes and just put put it right on this little ledge here, socket, or maybe even tape. Yeah. Tape and a sample one on there. So people know, oh, that's the socket, that's the cap. But that's I think that's about it. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Well, thank you first of all for doing. Maybe those machines to us. Yeah. Very
expensive variable and for explaining all the work. Yeah, I paid like 3,000 yeah. for them. And, um, you know, uh, most, most um, companies that resell this kind of machinery, they want to sell newer stuff. So it was hard to find somebody that would buy it back. And I just figured I'll give it to yeah. Noise Bridge. And, it was appreciated. Um, and you're welcome to come here and use your old babies anytime you want. Good. Okay, then. All right. Thank you very much for coming today. Okay. Bye, people. Um, I'm going to put my face mask back on and yeah. wash my hands. And I'll tell you what, if, if you um, need me for anything, you just give me a call. And if I can help out with it. Yeah.